Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sunday feast class given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on April 16th, 2023 in Dallas, Texas, USA. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking how His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami. I was thinking about His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami. How he had the DVD discussing Chaitanya Leela and the afternoons. So how he had the GVC discussing Chaitanya Leela in the afternoons. He had spiritualized the whole meetings that were having. He had spiritualized all the meetings which we were having. Anyway. Anyway. Our Lord Chaitanya, one day he was he taken sannyas and gone to Jagannath Puri. Lord Chaitanya, after he's taken sannyas, had gone to Jagannath Puri. And then he told Lord Nityananda that we have gone down to the river, especially four kinds of people. And then he told Nityananda, Lord Nityananda, that we have come down to deliver four kinds of special people. People who are so foolish, they think they're the body. People who are so foolish that they think they are the body. People who are not, not who are unnecessarily, uh, they are nature, they are, are not born in a very spiritual tradition. People who are not born in a very spiritually tra spiritual tradition. Those who are fallen. People who are fallen. And people who have something, some distress. And people who have some distress. I don't know if any of you have in your life experienced any of these four problems. I don't know if any of you in your life have experienced any of these four problems. <laughs> <laughs> So he was telling us about Dintananda that I love, we love Bengal, and uh, if we go back and finish up what we started. He was telling Lord Nityananda that I left Bengal and came here, but we sh you should go back and finish what we started there. So in this way, uh, Lord Nityananda said, I need, I need some people to send some devotees with me. In this way, ah. Lord Nityananda said, I need some people to send some devotees with me. And uh, Lord Chaitanya gave him about 20, 50 devotees. And Lord Chaitanya gave him some 20, 40, 30, 40 devotees. Uh, oh. They're all very wonderful devotees. They're all very wonderful devotees. And just by remembering their names, it says that one can very easily get love of Krishna. Just by remembering their names, it says one easily gets love of Krishna. So, normally they went back to Bengal and the first place they stopped at Normally, when they go back to Bengal, the first place they stop at is the Pani Hati Dham. I wouldn't say normally. So then, uh, I found that he was uh, preparing for his deity, and he asked, Oh, you're calm. And Raga Pandit, he was preparing for his deity, 
And he said, oh, you have come. How many, how many uh, uh, devotees are you? How many devotees are you? Uh, so I come back in one hour, he goes out to the Ganges, pile of peace for, for 50 people. He said, you go back and take a bath and come back in one hour and I'll have a feast for 50 people. Uh, when we are cooks, you know, it generally takes more than an hour to cook a feast for 50. If, if any of you are cooks, you know it takes more than an hour to cook a feast for 50 people. But he was very expert. But he was very expert. So he prepared the feast in an hour. So he prepared the feast in an hour. And uh, he came back and took the shadow. And he came back and took, they came back and they took prasadam. And they rested. <coughs> and they rested. And they started doing kirtan. And they started doing kirtan. And that kirtan went on and on and on. And that kirtan went on and on and on. And uh, it went on for days. Went on for days. Lord Nityananda, he said, I am a coward boy. Lord Nityananda said, I am a coward boy. I like Kadamba garlands, Kadamba, Kadamba flowers. I like Kadamba garland. I like Kadamba flowers. Kadamba garland. Give me a Kadamba garland. Oh, is it now not the season for Kadamba flowers. Now is not a season for Kadamba flowers. I just look, maybe you'll find some. Oh, you just go and look, maybe you may find some. Uh, he went back in the garden, and in the one lemon tree, he started roasting Kadamba flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they went back in the garden and looked, and there was a lemon tree. We start producing Kadamba flowers. <laughs> Such is the Shakti of Lord Nityananda. Such is the Shakti of Lord Nityananda. So he made a garland. So he made a garland. He came out and gave it to Lord Nityananda. And he gave, and then he gave it to Lord Nityananda. And then they were chanting. So then they were chanting. Lord Nityananda, he sat in a Vir Asana. Yoga Asana, and each devotee would come before him and chant. So and dance. The, so they were chanting, and then Lord Nityananda, he sat in a Veer Asana, yoga position, and then all each devotee would come and chant and dance in front of him. Well, next, next. So the, the kid out of the and people, they just come to see. And pretty soon you had thousands of people there. So the kirtan went on and people were coming to see and pretty soon there were thousands of people. And uh, once they were there, they couldn't leave. And once they were there, they couldn't leave. Such an ecstatic kirtan. Such an ecstatic kirtan. And after some time, the devotees, they became so empowered. After some time, the devotees, they became so empowered. One of them was jumping on treetops. <laughs> One of them was jumping from treetops. <laughs> One was picking up a tree. Picking <laughs> up and dancing with it. One was picking up a tree out and, put it, and, and, and dancing along with it. Uh, and then Lord Nityananda danced. And then Lord Nityananda danced. When he dances, it's something very special. When he dances, there is something very special. Lord Chaitanya said, whenever Lord Nityananda dances, I'll be there. Lord Chaitanya said, wherever Lord Nityananda dances, I will be there. So while he was dancing, Lord, Lord Chaitanya, who was in South India at that time, he came out to watch. While he was dancing, Lord Chaitanya, who was in South India at that time, he came there to watch. But no one could see him except Lord Nityananda. But nobody could see him except Lord Nityananda. And Lord Nityananda stopped and told everybody that Lord Chaitanya is here. Lord Nityananda stopped and he told everybody that Lord Chaitanya is here. You cannot see him. You cannot see him. But he's wearing a special <laughs> South Indian garland. But he's wearing a special South Indian garland. You can smell him. You can smell him. Everyone starts smelling. Everyone is smelling. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.
another they start falling down in ecstasy. And one after another, they start falling down in ecstasy. Love gas. Love gas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, this is how the Sankirtan started for Lord Nityananda, I mean, his second wave. This is how, anyway, this is how the Sankirtan started from Lord Nityananda. This is the second wave. That, when he went various places. Then he went various places. On the subject now, he went in, in all the business when he was he went to Adi Saptagram, he got all the businessmen there and gave them love of God. Give them Sankirtan. Then he went to Navadvip again. And then he went to Navadvip again. And he saw Mother Sachi. And he saw Mother Sachi. Mother Sachi requested him to stay a little time here because that way I'll be able i see you and get your nose. Mother Sachi requested him to stay there for some time so that she can see her and get some news. And get some news. I thought he was dancing and chanting. He was doing a song here down around Navadweep. So he was chanting and dancing around Navadweep. And uh, there was one leader of the the Dacoites, the armed robbers. And there was one leader of the Dacoites, armed robbers. He saw Lord Nityananda. He saw Lord Nityananda. Wearing diamond earrings. Wearing diamond earrings. He wore a pearl necklace. He wore pearl necklace. Golden necklace with gems. Golden necklace with gems. Arm bands with gems. Arm bands with gems. Rings with gems. Rings with gems. He had uh, silver ankle bells. He had silver ankle bells. He said, Mother Chandi has blessed us. All the wealth is in one place. <laughs> we can steal it from them very easily. <laughs> he said, Mother Chandi has blessed us. All the wealth is in one place. He called, we can uh, steal from him. He, he, although easily. he was a Brahmin, but he always hang out with thieves, robbers, wicked people. Although he was a Brahmin, but he used to hang out with thieves, robbers, decoits. Ramas are normally supposed to be very forgiving, Brahmanas kind. Brahmanas are supposed to be very forgiving, kind. But he was, he was cold hearted. He, but he was cold hearted. He was a serial killer. He was a serial killer. He killed in cold blood. He was killing cold blood. It's a really wicked guy. Very wicked guy. But somehow he was born in a Brahmin family. But somehow he was born in a Brahmin family. But so he got his gang together. He let the, he can <coughs> get all the gold, all the silver guy and everything. Is there and this object. So he got his gang together <coughs> and he told them that we, got, we can get all the gold, silver, diamond, and jewels in this one Abadut. Lacks and lacks of rubies. Lacks and lacks of rubies. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, then I came with swords, <coughs> shields. Tridents, daggers, and iron to the hilt. So they came with swords, shields, dragger, daggers, and tridents. tridents, and they were they were dressed to the hilt. Armed. Armed, sorry. They were armed to the hilt. <laughs> They're also dressed. What is it? So Lord Nityananda was staying in the house of Yadunath. Lord Nityananda was staying in the house of Yadunath. And uh, this Yadunath, he was a very poor man. And this, this Yadunath was a very poor man. He was, uh, he was a very good devotee. But, but he was a very good devotee. 
But the devotee and the devotees were chanting and dancing. And I'm back to report what he saw. And then he went back to report what he saw. Bhat khache, he's eating rice. Bhat khache, he's eating rice. The truth is all. So then, uh, for everyone else is awake, uh, singing and dancing. And everyone else is awake. They're singing and dancing. So the leader, he's not worried. I'll eat and fall asleep. So the leader he thought, thought they will eat and fall asleep. Let's uh, let's uh, sit under a tree and wait. So let's sit under a tree and wait. They were meditating on Lord Nityananda. And they were meditating on Lord Nityananda. I want to steal his uh, diamond earrings. I want to steal his diamond earring. And I want to take his. Pearl necklace. I will take his pearl necklace. Each one was saying how they were in the renovating actually on the form of Lord Nityananda. <laughs> Each one was thinking and they were meditating on the forms of Lord Nityananda. But to steal from him. But to steal from him. And one said, oh, I want to steal his silver ankle bells. One said, I want to steal his silver ankle bells. We're all talking. They were all talking. <laughs> and they fell asleep. They fell asleep. And they fell asleep. <laughs> they all fell asleep. And they all fell asleep. The sun rose. And the sun rose. And they still asleep. And they were still asleep. <laughs> and then the crows started crack, crack, crack. And the crows started crack, crack, crack. <laughs> Hey, you're sleeping. Hey, you're sleeping. Yeah, you're right awake, huh? Ah, you were awake, as it. They hide all their tridents and swords and things. They hide all their tridents, swords and things. Put in the nearby forest. Put in the nearby forest. So they'll come back to the forest. We didn't worship Chandima. The problem is, we didn't worship Chandima. We had to offer her wine and meat, very nice offerings. We had to offer her mine, wine and meat. Then and we could come around and steal from Nityananda. And then we could come around and steal from Lord Nityananda. So they did their worship and came back the next day. So they did their, their, so they did their worship and came back the next day. But they were, they didn't see where they came from. Such a horrible, each one, like they could rush the whole element. They didn't, they didn't know where they came from. Put soldiers, armed, around the house. They didn't see where they came from. Special, strong, foot soldiers. Each one can take hundreds of them. That's wow. They said, wow. What's this song? King or someone seeing the Avadut. It must be the case, some king is seeing this Avadut. And uh, he brought his soldiers. And he brought his soldiers. Well, let's leave here and come back after a week or so. Let's leave here and come back after a week they or so. They might find us. Where's the trouble? They might find us. They might find us and we will get in trouble. So we hear that. So they came back. Third attempt. Third attempt. After like a week or so. After a week or so. But this time it became very dark. This time they couldn't see. It they became... blinded. <laughs> blinded. <laughs> Some fell in a ditch around the house. Some fell in a, another a hole, a garbage hole. <laughs> this time. They, <laughs> <laughs> this time they came back and was blinded. They couldn't see that. Some fell in a ditch and some fell in a garbage hole. The, the blood was 
Sucked by leeches. The blood was sucked by leeches. Insect bit them. Insect bit them. And they were so well in a canal. Some fell in the canal and were, were broken. They broke their bones. They broke their bones. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. It started raining. It started bleeding. Hell worms. Hell stones. Hell fell. Three. Hail fell. Hailstones. There was something like so much. There was so much misery, so much suffering. And after all this, that somehow they retreated. And then the Raman, said the Raman God has been reverence. So after this, some of them repented, and the Brahmana got this remembrance. Actually, Lord Nityananda, he must be the Supreme Lord. Actually, Lord Nityananda, he must be the Supreme Lord. And uh, he put us to sleep. He had a strong by this kind of extraterrestrial strong beings. He put us to sleep, and he was surrounded by these extraterrestrial super strong beings. Who had no beings. Long garlands. They had neck beads and long garlands. Then we fell in the holes and hailstorms and all these things. And they were caught in this hailstorm and they fall into these dishes. I said all these things happen because he's the Supreme Lord. All these things happen to us because he's the Supreme Lord. And so somehow, and then Nanda gave him a mercy. So somehow, Lord Nityananda gave them this mercy. And he could realize that he, that he was doing the wrong thing. That he could realize that he was doing the wrong thing. He came in. He came in. And he was crying. And he was crying. Tears pouring yeah. his eyes. Tears pouring his eyes. <laughs> and he <laughs> fell down at the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. And he went down to the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Give me your shelter. Give me your shelter. I surrender. I surrender. And the devotees said, I can't trust the thieves. The devotees said, we can't trust the thieves. Maybe, uh, maybe he is surrendering, but he really is insincere. He just wants to come in and steal. Maybe he's a surrendering, but he's insincere and he wants to steal. I said there was a pickpocket in Bombay. Actually, there was a pickpocketer in Bombay. He saw Prabhupada's Rolex watch. He saw Shri Prabhupada's Rolex watch. Someone had gifted Prabhupada. Someone had gifted Prabhupada. Someone gifted it to Prabhupada. And he wanted to steal that from Prabhupada. And he wanted to steal that from Prabhupada. And he came to the temple. And he came to the temple. And Prabhupada engaged him in service. And Srila Prabhupada engaged him in service. And at the end, he revealed to Prabhupada that actually I came to steal from you. And at the end, he revealed to Srila Prabhupada, I came to steal from you. But now you have changed my heart. But now you have changed my heart. And I, Prabhupada gave him a name. Oh. You know, Krishna, uh, he is a thief. <laughs> Rock, oh. name. Prabhupada gave him the name, which means a Krishna. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada gave him the name of Krishna, which means that he's a thief. Makancho? So, <laughs> it happens. So this happens. But they thought that maybe you know, there's a saying in Bengali, Ati Bhakti. <laughs> so they are saying in Bengali, Ati Bhakti Chora Lakshan. Too much uh, Bhakti too easy, maybe a symptom of a thief. Too much Bhakti is a symptom of a thief. So, the Lord Nityananda asked the, the Brahman. So the Lord Nityananda asked the Brahman, Tell me what realization you have had. Tell me what realization do you have? So he told all the, he told actually, I came, he came to steal from you. He told that actually we all came to steal from you. We came to, to harm you. We came to harm you. 
They came in the night and made us fall asleep. They came in first night and you made us fall asleep. In the second night, the guards were on the house. We came the second night, there were guards around the house. Later, you came the third time, we fell in ditches, we uh, hail storms rained on us. We came the third time, we fell into the ditches, holes, there was hail storms. Even if we fall on the earth, we trip to fall. Even if we fall on the earth, we trip to fall. We have to take shelter of the earth. We have to take shelter of the earth. To stand up. To stand up. If we are friends of you, we have to take shelter of you to, uh, to correct ourselves. <coughs> if we try to harm, if we take... We you. If we offended you, we have to take shelter of you to correct ourselves. And since I wanted to harm you, I wanted to steal from you. But since I wanted to harm you, I wanted to steal from you. Uh, I, I should go on the Ganges. Drown myself as atonement. I should go in the Ganges and drown myself as the atonement. Well, I didn't tell them that it's all right. Don't you told him it's all right? If you don't do these sinful things anymore, I'll forgive you. If you don't do these sinful things anymore, I will forgive you. I'll take all your karma and wipe you clean. I will take all your karma and wipe you clean. So then uh, you try to bring all your thieves, your gang, to the Dharma path. So you try to bring all your thieves, all your gang, to the Dharma path. And uh, get them to also take out bhakti. And get them to also take up bhakti. And so the whole gang surrendered to Lord Nityananda. So that the whole gang surrounded to Lord Nityananda. And they uh, took, they started chanting Hare Krishna. They started chanting Hare Krishna. And they were completely delivered. And they were completely delivered. Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Hari Bo! I was thinking how Lord Nityananda is very humorous. So we were thinking how Lord Nityananda is very humorous. And uh, he, he the, these are very rough people, they are thieves. The, the thieves, the people are very rough. Uh, he changed their heart, but he did it in a, in a way that was the various uh, tests. He changed their hearts and he did it in a, uh, he made them go through many tests. This is his, his uh, sense of humor. This is his sense of humor. But, but at the end they realized, if we try to take from the Supreme Lord, we'll be suffering so much. In the end they realized that if we try to take from the Supreme Lord, we will suffer so much. And not only you don't get love for Krishna so easily. Normally, you don't get love for Krishna so easily. But Lord, but Lord Nityananda's mercy, they all got love of Krishna. By Lord Nityananda's mercy, they all got love of Krishna. That guy leader, robber, rolling on the ground. The Jacob leader, the armed robber, is rolling on the ground. Is right. For mercy. He's crying for mercy. How does someone change their heart like that? How can someone change the heart like that? It's like your mafia dealer or someone. It's like somebody like mafia dealer or someone. They change their heart. How? They change their heart. Well, normally, not possible. <coughs> normally, that's not possible. But Lord Nityananda, everything is possible. But with Lord Nityananda, everything is possible. <laughs> Nidai Goranga. 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 Uh, I, in Bombay, I see many people, uh, they, 
are rushing the ringing crowds behind the Radha Rajari Sitaram deities. I see that many deity, many people are rushing to take darshan of Adaras Bihari, Sitaram. Not so many on Nitai Gaur. Not so many on Nitai Gaur. This is on the live TV online. But actually, it's Nitai Gaur's mercy that we are able to appreciate Radha Krishna Jagannath. It is actually Nitai Gaur's mercy that we are able to appreciate Radha Krishna and Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. I was telling them he should pray first for Lord Nitai Gaur. And by their mercy, they can actually have love for Radha Radha Hari, Sita Ramakrishna Hanuman. So I was telling them, you should pray to them. I was telling them, you should pray to them because by their mercy, you can have love for Radha Krishna and Sita Ramakrishna Hanuman. So you are all very fortunate. So you all are very fortunate. Here you have Nitai Gaur. Here you have Nitai Gaur. You have Radha Kalachanji. You have Radha Kalachanji. Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. You have Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. Hari Ram. Hari Ram. You should take their mercy and run with it. You should take their mercy and run with it. Hare Krishna, any questions? Hare Krishna, any questions? Thank you for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.